The song that is playing here is called Heavy Cross by Gossip. You know, it's a cruel, cruel world to face on your own. Yeah, that's all. Yo, what's up, world? It's your boy, Filosco here. And today, we're going to have another cool lesson based on pronunciation for the people who really want to lose their foreign accents and sound more American. No, I do not work on British pronunciation. I do not work on Australian pronunciation. Not Irish, not Scottish. Just American. New York base. The most popular and cool one. So let's get to it. Today I want to work on something because I saw a video that I posted a while ago that had this word on it. And this word was a word even used in World War II to see if a person was really American or not. Because it was believed that German spies who were pretending to be American, they could not say this word. Laura, say squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sound like that. It's really hard for them to say this word. But what's funny is in New York City, I have my own word. I have my own word to use to test if somebody was in New York for a long enough time. And that word was this word. If they were able to say this word like an American and especially like a New Yorker, I would know they've been in New York for a long time. And I would know that they pretty much know what it's like to be a New Yorker. Do you think you know how to say this word like a New Yorker? Well, say it to yourself. Did you say it? Well, cool. Well, how we actually pronounce this word right here is Manhattan. Manhattan. Now, the N sound, you can make it if you want, like Manhattan, but the most important part about it is the T sound is not made at all. It is absolutely silent. Manhattan. Manhattan. But the N sound is silent too for a lot of us New Yorkers. Manhattan. Manhattan. But if you pronounce the N sound a little, it's not that big of a deal. So you know what we're going to work on? We're going to work on why the T sound is silent in this word. And we're going to call it the Manhattan Silent T. That's what we're going to work on. The Manhattan Silent T. So let's get to it. Now there are a lot of other words like whistle and wrestle and stuff like that that have a silent T. But I'll get to that in a different video. Right now I'm working on a specific type of silent T. And it has to follow these three rules in order to be a part of the Manhattan Silent T. Okay, so let's get to the three rules. Now. The first rule of it is, it has to have two or more syllables. The word has to have two or more syllables. For example, a syllable is basically a straight sound without changing or taking a break, like Philip, two syllables. Right now, I am in Russia, Russia, two syllables. Everyone knows me as Filochko, Filochko, three syllables. I'm sure you know what a syllable is now, okay? Now there's a second rule, and the second rule to it is, when pronouncing all the letters, whether they're silent or not, the last syllable must begin with the T sound and end with the N sound. For example, as you see in Manhattan, when you say it, pronouncing everything, it's Manhattan. Manhattan. Three syllables. It works because it's two or more. And the last syllable is ten. T-A-N. So what happens, it follows the rule, the T becomes silent. Manhattan. Manhattan. There are three exceptions to this. The first exception is ing. If a word ends in ing, it still applies to this rule. Because even though it ends with the G sound, Americans, we don't pronounce the G in a word that has ing. We don't do it. So right now the camera is filming this video. Filming. We don't really say filming. We don't say filming. We say filming. So if a word ends in t-i-n-g, it still follows this rule. For example, looting. Looting. That's me pronouncing it with all the letters possible. But looting follows this rule. Because the ing, we don't pronounce the g sound, it counts. Looting, two syllables. Last syllable, t-i-n. Tin, tin, get rid of the t. Looting, looting. Like that. Here's another exception. Another exception is for words that end in i-o-n. Like t-i-o-n. For example, the word creation. Now, creation. Three syllables, it passes that. Last syllable is sh, but it doesn't count because when T-I-O-N is involved, the T makes a slightly different sound, so it does not count in this rule. So with the word creation, we wouldn't say create on, create on. No, we would say creation. It does not count if it ends in T-I-O-N. Does not count. Now for the third exception. The third exception is when it comes to words like often, drifting, lifting. Now. When there's two or more syllables, of course, you know the rules already, 
But when there's an F sound before the last T sound and the last syllable, like in these three examples, it varies and is honestly your choice. So we have three words here. Often, drifting, lifting. But you can pronounce often, often, or often. It's up to you. Drifting. Drifting is usually drifting. There's not many people who say drifting. But you could say that because people will understand you. And to the next one, lifting. Now, most people say lifting, but you can say, I was lifting something yesterday and I hurt my back. Or you can say, I was lifting something yesterday and hurt my back. So when it's FT near the last syllable, it is your choice. Okay? So let's get to it to see if you understand it. Here, I'm going to put 10 words. Five of these words follow the rule and the T becomes silent. And the other five of these don't follow the rule and the T does not become silent in American English. Do you think you can figure it out? Pause the video and try it yourself because I'm going to read it right now to see if you got it. So let's start with number one. And number one is kitten. K-I-T-T-E-N. Kitten. How many syllables? One, two. Kitten. Passes that. Second part. The last syllable is tin. T-E-N. Tin. So it follows both of those rules. So how do we pronounce it? Kitten. It is kitten. It works. Excellent. That one gets a silent T. Kitten. Next one. The next word is Latin. Latin. Now, Latin. Two syllables. Passes that. Last syllable, tin. Does it pass? Yes. It is Latin. We pronounce it Latin. It gets a silent T. Yes. Now let's go to the third one. The third one is Latina. Latina. How many syllables? Latina. Three. So it works. Last syllable, uh. So it doesn't pass. The T is not silent. This word is actually pronounced Latina. She's a Latina. It is not silent because the last syllable is a uh and not tin. So it has three syllables, Latina, and the last syllable is what matters. So even though number two is Latin, number three is still Latina or Latina. However you want to pronounce it, but the T is pronounced. Now to number four. Number four is matter. Matter. So let's get to it. Matter. Two syllables, it works. The last syllable is ter. T-E-R sound? Um, no, doesn't work. This one is pronounced matter. Matter. It's actually a soft D sound, but I'll get to that in another video. But the T is not silent because it does not follow the rules. Matter. Let's get to the next one. Nation. Nation. Two syllables, works. But the last syllable is shun. Hmm. There's an exception, because remember, with T-I-O-N, it never counts. So this one is not pronounced neon, it's nation. It's nation, it does not get the silent T. Next one, tan, T-A-N. It starts with a T, ends with an N sound, yes, but tan, tan. That's only one syllable, the T does not become silent. We say tan, no silent T. Next one, dating, dating. Last syllable, ting. T-I-N-G, but there's an exception. Remember, when it ends in I-N-G, the G is basically silent to us Americans. So this does follow the rule. Dayton, we would say Dayton. I've been dating this girl for five months and I'm loving it, for an example. Dayton, so it does get the silent T. So let's get to the next one. The next word is forgotten, forgotten. Let's see how many syllables, forgotten. Three syllables works, next one. Last syllable is pronounced ten. T-E-N. So does this follow? Absolutely. How do we pronounce it? Forgotten. Forgotten. You are not forgotten. You will not be forgotten. It works perfectly. Next one. Marathon. Marathon. How many syllables? Marathon. Three syllables. Works. Last syllable? Thon. Mm. This one does not get the silent T. Because when that T is combined with the H, it does not make a T sound anymore. Not at all. It makes a sound. So it does not count. It is not marathon. It's marathon. Now to the last one that we already went through. It's often or often. That one is your choice, but it does follow the rule. You could go either way with it. So you know what that means. And that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned new stuff. Be sure to add me, vk.com slash Velosco, that's me, and subscribe to my YouTube page to see all of my videos. I'm going to make more videos on helping you out with your pronunciation, teaching you some American secrets 
that only spies know? Because I had a, I had a class two days ago and someone asked me if I was a spy because I used to be in the military. So it's kind of funny. But anyway, I'm not a spy. But I can help you be a spy if you want to. All right? And that's basically it, people. The snow is going crazy out here in Krasnodar. It's going crazy in America. Snow is just going crazy. And I can't wait till it stops. I can't wait for summer. Summer, come now. I'm gone. Later. And don't be racist. <laughs> so don't be racist. That is his catchphrase.